Listen carefully, sisters and brothers. You want to get close to Allah? You want to feel happy? Listen to this. My servant keep, there is nothing more beloved to me that my servant does than the types of worship which I made obligatory upon him. Fard, the hijab, the five daily prayers, the fasting. See that it's fard, you must do it. And I punish you for not doing it. Allah says, these are the most beloved acts to me than anything else in the universe. That's why I made him fard upon you because I love him. That's how you stay close to me. And that's why I made a punishment because I refuse for you to go away from me. I refuse to lose you to the shaitan. So I made it compulsory. Secondly, then he said, And my slave keeps coming closer to me with voluntary work. Things that he didn't make compulsory, but you do them out of your own goodwill. Sunnah prayers, dhikr prayers, helping Muslims, making dua, saying a nice word to someone, smiling to your wife, assisting your wife, feeding your children. Even if you are a man, you get up in the morning, feed your children. This is worship. My servant keeps coming closer to me with these voluntary acts. Hatta uhibbu, until I begin to love him. Fa'idha ahbabtuh. And when I begin to love her, I become her ears that she hears with, her sight which she sees with, her hand which she touches with, or his, his legs which he walks with, or which he stands on, supports himself with. And if he asks me for anything, I will give them. And if you sought protection from me, I will protect them. You know what it means to be your ear, your, your hearing and your sight and, your, and your, your, your hand and your support? It means that your ear suddenly, suddenly, you'll feel like your ears only want to listen to good things. You know pop music? Islam forbids it, right? And we know why. Your ear once used to love listening to it. When you start doing these compulsory things, and then you start doing good acts, charity and all that stuff, suddenly without anyone telling you, your heart begins to hate listening to that stuff and you don't know why. And your ear doesn't want to listen to it. Then you find comfort in Qur'an. Then you find comfort in the words that please Allah. And you feel this comfort when you're sitting in a group and someone backbites someone else. You don't want to listen. Someone talks about rubbish. You don't want to listen. Someone begins to abuse. You don't want to listen. Someone tells you, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, you open your ears. Your eyes. You see something haram, you don't want to look anymore. You feel discomfort. But the one who doesn't remember Allah, their eyes find pleasure in it. Lust. But the ones whose eyes Allah becomes their sight, their heart is filled with iman. Your hand doesn't want to touch anything that's haram, hit in any way that's haram, steal anything and only touch the good. Your legs refuse to walk except to places which Allah loves. I become his sight, his hearing, his hands and his legs. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among them.